Skew here. Welcome to my crib. Before I go inside, I just want to explain to you that I love about this apartment. This apartment building only has two apartment units in it. You have my apartment here on the first floor and then you have another apartment up there on the second floor. So it's not that many people, it's pretty quiet in here. So I sort of love just being safe and not having to worry about that many people living in the same space that I'm living in. So let's walk out of my apartment. So when you first walk into the apartment, the first thing that you see is this little dining area here. This is where I like to sit and eat my food. I bought this nice little table from Ikea and it came with matching chairs. So one of them somehow disappeared. So I have mismatched chairs at the moment. But yeah, this is the nice little dining area that you see when you first walk in. Behind it, we have this super nice exposed brick wall. And I just love to come here and sit because it's a little open space and it's just a really nice, comfortable place to eat or just hang out. When you leave the dining room area, you walk about two feet over to this place over here. This used to be an exposed fireplace. This apartment was actually built in 1883, but they renovated it three years ago. And when they renovated it, they covered up this fireplace. So now it's sort of this exposed brick and they have the fireplace covered right here. Um, it's sort of nice to look at. This is a bit off centered. So I don't like the placement of it. I wish it was sort of would have kept the fireplace open, but I guess it was a fire hazard. So, but anyways, when you come over here, two more feet over, we have a little sofa area, which is where I like to sit down and watch TV. I bought this futon from Ikea. So funny story, when I first moved to New York, I didn't have a job. I also didn't have any money and I didn't have a bed. So I used to sleep on this futon as my bed, but now I use it more as a sofa when I just watch TV. And then behind me, I have a really nice window that gives lots of natural lighting in it. Outside the window, there's a beautiful view of washing machine and we also have a full dryer. I knew when I was moving to New York City that I did not want to have to go to the laundromat to do my laundry. So I'm super thankful that I was able to find an apartment that came with its own washing machine and own dryer. We have this mini hallway back here. At the back of the apartment is where my two roommate's rooms are. There's a room right here, which is the biggest room in the apartment. But like this room is huge and it also has its own closet. This room back here is also the second biggest room. That room is pretty big and it has its own closet. I have the smallest room in the apartment because once again, when I first moved to New York, I had no money and no job. So I had to get a room that was really cheap. So that's why I have the smallest room, but I'm sort of happy with it because it's super affordable and it has enough space for me to live in. Now we're going into the bathroom which is just a basic bathroom. It has this tile 
wall that goes all the way around. You have your bathroom mirror, but my favorite feature about the bathroom is the shower. I love how big it is. We have a nice shower head and we have super good water pressure, which is great, but that's pretty much it in the bathroom. It's not that fancy. It just has a shower, a tub, a sink, and a toilet. So when you walk from the bathroom back towards the living room, I like to stop and look at this piece of art here. It's black and white, which is my aesthetic. I'm wearing black and white right now. My roommate actually bought this piece of art from somewhere. I don't know where she bought it here when she moved here and I just love this art. It sort of brings out the wall <laughs> because the wall is white but then the black and white gives the wall some contrast. One thing I forgot to show you is the central AC and heat. So we have this metal tube type thing. I don't know what that's called but the vent. Uh, it goes throughout the entire apartment so in the summertime obviously you blow some cool air and then in the winter time we have heat flowing through this system so I really enjoy the fact that we have central AC and heat. It does make our utility bill higher than it should be and I'm cheap so I like paying that much for utilities but it is a privilege to have like AC and heat included like in your apartment that's not like a piece of space heater or a piece of air conditioner in your window so I do appreciate having this extra benefit to the apartment. My room is on the opposite side of the apartment from my roommate's rooms which is nice for sort of like having my own little privacy on the side of my apartment. I don't know what that was. I was trying to be cute and move my head and do that but it's not working. But let's go inside my room. So when you first walk into my room I have my clothing rack here. I don't have a closet in my room because I have the cheapest room and also the smallest room. So I have this clothing rack where I like to hang up some of my clothes. Here, let me show you right quick. I have my fur coats. I love, I love fur coats. They're really nice. This was only $10 because I'm cheap. And then let me show you my other fur coat right quick. from Ikea because I don't want real dirt inside so I have the fake plants instead and then I have a lot of my favorite books I have this billboard book this filmmaker's handbook I have a lot of criminal justice books or anthropology books because it is a double major in anthropology and film so I still enjoy reading books in that realm and then I have a little camera here the best feature of my bedroom is obviously my bed I have this nice bed here that I got for free because as I mentioned before, when I moved to New York City, I was dead broke and I had no job, so I couldn't afford a bed. So I somehow wound up lucky and I found this nice bed here for free that I just kept ever since it's super comfortable. It's clean, you know, it wasn't no bed off the street. I got it from a legit place. It just happened to be free, but yeah, I love this bed. And I just also love my room. It's it's small, but it's like the perfect size for me. I keep it very minimalist. I have these gray covers, and then I also love this gray wall over there. That umbrella that you see is a 
it's like a light umbrella just like this traditional thing that we use in new orleans it's like good luck so i sort of keep that in my room for good luck and prosperity oh my gosh y'all so moving to new york city was so hard i knew that at the end of my senior year of college i wanted to move to new york city but i didn't know how because i applied to jobs throughout that entire second semester of my senior year of college and i couldn't get a job so i graduated college with no job and, and no money i had to search and search for a super cheap room that allowed me to move in without a proof of income and also without a background or credit check i'm going to be filming a video a part two of this video on how to move to new york city with no job no money and also not good credit so stay tuned to my channel for that but yeah thank you for watching this apartment tour i hope you enjoyed it make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video